you love Easter eggs in your game. You uh, in yeah. your games. Yeah, you and I, I like. I like, and I like to think that we were certainly with fighting games. I think we were first. You know, doing the the reptile in Mortal Kombat One was literally me driving to KFC on like a Sunday in the in the drive in like you know waiting in the drive through and going you know what we did orange or we did blue we did yellow we we can make a green palette we'll call him reptile and like the end of the day he was in the game like it was it was literally it's, it's as 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 kind of randomly inspirational thoughts you know that it was like oh we, we can do it let's let's and didn't even tell anybody didn't tell john tobias didn't tell anybody uh that that it's in the game we go let's see when people find it and um somebody sent me a picture of like their arcade had you know find the reptile and they they put it and i still have that picture to this day um so th those are the kind of really cool uh that's what i love to see like secrets in the games where people freak out over it and um, you know want to uh you know People just love uncovering stuff in games. But awesome. even before the internet, I mean, someone had to find that in the arcade machine, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, and yeah. that's and it was spread truly word of mouth exactly. from one guy to the next, yeah. to the next. And, and it even was, moves, even moves, doing moves. Exactly, and and um, that that was that was such a big part of Mortal Kombat was we didn't document anything. We just said, here, play as Liu Kang, and all of a sudden, how did I throw that fireball? Well, I'll just keep playing as somebody figures out, you know, it's toward toward high punch. And then um, that word of mouth, let's talk about it. And a lot of people made friends playing MK2 or playing something like that. And, and how did you change, how did you make Shang Tsung change into Kentaro? Oh, you hold it for like 20 seconds and you let go, you know? And then that kind of conversation is like, you know, it's weird, there's a lot of like, like it bonds people and stuff like that, so that's cool. Do you think that the internet age has kind of spoiled some of that charm? I mean, it's helped, obviously. It, it completely spoiled it. Like, I, it, it absolutely, I remember we were making uh, MK2 or 3, and that's when like, like um, forums were just kind of getting out there. So somebody in California can post something on rec.games.alt.mortalcombat or something, and then somebody in New York can see it that night and go, Oh, that's how you do Sonya's Fatality, you know. And uh, I remember thinking at that point, that's the beginning of the end of secrets in video games that are, you know, discovered.